So I got a couple of messages over the last week or so since the last episode, and I got asked, like, oh, when are you going to post the pasta video uh, for my punishment last week from the trivia? I was supposed <laughs> to eat raw pasta. So I woke up this. I woke up and I was like, okay, yo, I gotta find time to do this between now and when we record, because I completely forgot about it. I'll be yeah. quite honest. I dropped the ball this one. I, mean, I dropped the ball this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I forgot uh, when I had to drink the bong uh, bong water. I I think I did that like a day after I was supposed to give you the video. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I still got it anyway. <laughs> You're lucky, though, because I was going to dock your pay if you didn't, uh... But you got it to me on time. I did, I did. I saved myself. Yeah, paycheck acquired. Hell yeah. Uh, so I I did a little research before thinking about this. I just did a Google search, just eating raw pasta bad, because, I don't know, I kind of imagined it to be something that would lead to painful shits. Possibly. If, you know, I got a spiky raw pasta cactus... (laughs) Uh, coming out of my ass. Uh, so I looked up, is eating raw pasta bad? And this is what came up. Raw pasta contains anti-nutrients, which automatically threw up a red flag for me, uh, which damage, which damage the intestine, disrupts enzyme pathways, and may even cause systemic inflammation. It is very hard to digest and blocks the pathways for mineral <clears throat> absorption. In most cases, it may also cause cons- constipation. Eating it may not kill you, but it will certainly have ill effect. Well. So I thought about how much you wanted me to eat, and it was like half a package of pasta. Half a package? No. Half a fucking... I- half a one of the noodles. What? I thought the way that you worded it was that you wanted what? me to eat no. half of it. I you asked did. me how much pasta I had. You can go back to the last episode. I, know, I, I swear asked, to God. I asked you, I was like, oh, how big are they? And then you were like, oh, like they're the thick ones. And I'm like, okay, yeah, half of that. I thought you meant like no, half of the stupid. box. <laughs> Not half of the box. Why would you eat half of the box? Because I thought that's what you asked. Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> half a fucking noodle. <laughs> no, I mean, I was. Co- I guess in my head I was comparing the severity of your last punishment, which is drinking bong water versus but mine, that was like which a would be shot. like eating half. Eh, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Do you want me to eat a half, ru- half of one right now? If you want to. Okay, hang on. Half a box of pasta. What is what? Who do you think I am? This dude. Okay, I have returned with my half <laughs> of the pasta. Good. Okay. Half a fucking box. Jesus half of a pasta. Christ. I thought it was half of a box, I swear, and I was just dreading it the entire time. Oh my god, no. I was like, oh man, I am literally going to end up in the hospital or worse. Half a noodle. Uh, But, random side story, I had a friend who, whenever he came over, he would go into my pantry and grab the raw pasta and just eat handfuls. What? (laughs) He he must have been in agony. (laughs) He he was a little bit of a a crackhead. Love him. Miss him. (laughs) (laughs) If you... Okay, so hang on. Let me just get a little sound sample of me biting into this real quick. Here we go. I don't know if you heard that at all. Nope, not at all. Nope, okay. It was honestly... Ew. It's not the greatest. (laughs) It's not. (laughs) Because it's very bland. (laughs) Once it gets like, once your like saliva gets it wet, it kind of yeah. rem- it's reminiscent of a noodle, but yeah. not really. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, pasta by itself doesn't really have any taste. That's why we put sauces no. on it. Yeah, I mean, unless you put like butter, like garlic, and like all that not shit enough. together. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> Well, everybody, welcome back to the podcast. I yet again have avoided a punishment. What a fucking guy. Yeah. But this week is the episode with tacos as promised. Brianna here has two of the potato options that returned from t- that returned to Taco Bell, the cheesy fiesta potatoes and the spicy potato taco, one of my personal favorites. I was raving about it all last week. 
during last week's episode. So we ran into a little bit of a situation with me because I wanted to partake in this. It's like potatoes. It, it's potatoes. So I went to go get my order. And of course, on the day that we're supposed to do this, <laughs> my Taco Bell says that they can't do potato orders. Rip. So I instead got these, um, uh, I like scrambled and I like looked at the menu cause there was like nothing on there that I wanted. And I was like, uh, uh, I don't. So like the way that my Taco Bell drive-thru is, is that once you're in the drive-thru, you're basically, you can't back out. Right. Especially if there's a car behind you. I was the only car at the moment. Um, I could have easily just been like, ah, oh, no, it's fine, I'm back up. But me being socially awkward as fuck, scrambled <laughs> around to like look at the menu, be like, I gotta order something. You I'm also here. can totally drive forward and just go through the drive-through to leave. Yeah, yes, but that that's <laughs> but to me that's very awkward. And also, my mother raised me that if someone offers you food, you don't but say. She, no. That's different if you have to pay for it. Listen, my wallet was already in my hand. My hands were tied at that point. <laughs> so I ordered these um, Chipotle chicken roll-up things. They didn't have... I think it's like 150-something... Ca- I don't fucking know. I don't count my calories. I don't know why I'm even saying like, Oh, you got so many calories. <laughs> but um, being one of those pretentious snobs. But anyway, um, there are these tiny little grilled chicken cheese and chipotle sauce roll up so i'm like fine i'll get that that's the closest thing of potatoes that they got i was about to go into a whole explanation as to why it's the same but i'm that's just no one wants to hear this <laughs> so we're going to review taco bell right now i'm just going to sit here and eat in peace and brianna is going to eat her potatoes and she is going to tell us what she thinks of them oh man i'm i personally i'm kind of scared because every time i have taco bell i get sick in some way shape or form I will either shit my life away or puke. And it's like, okay, cool, fun, love that. So, but I mean, can you really go wrong with potatoes? Like, I don't think so. Here's hoping. Sorry, I'm already stuffing my face because it is one in the afternoon and I'm hungry. Okay. I could. What did you eat first? I had the the Fiesta potatoes, like just the regular. Okay. I can see why there was like a whole riot against taking these out it's the best thing on their fucking yeah menu. no yeah By especially mile. for vegetarians that's the best fucking thing on their menu uh-huh i could fuck with these potatoes yes thank you all right well, let's try the taco this one i think i'm the most scared about because it just reminds me of a dark time <laughs> <laughs> I remember when. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Yes. There was that was a that was a TikTok that Winter showed me. Uh, it was like when the tra- when when your trauma hits you out of nowhere. It's like <laughs> I remember when. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. It just loops the I remember part like over and over. Hmm. Did you get some of that sauce in there? Yeah. As well? It's so good. Oh, wow. It's such a good combination of flavors. Now let's hope that you don't... Projectile vomit? Yeah. You don't projectile vomit or like oh, have wow. like a Mount Vesuvius level eruption out of your ass. <laughs> yeah, I have my surgery tomorrow too. So <laughs> yeah. I'm really hoping I, I don't get like, the runs. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. But at least you'll be under when it happens. Mm-hmm. They're just like working. It's like... You just shit doctor, myself. Like, ner- <laughs> um, the... What is like an assistant dentist? I guess we'll just I guess they dental just assistant. Me. I don't. I don't. Dental assistant. Will you hand me the? Oh my god! She's <laughs> she's erupting. Hmm. <laughs> this taco's kind of hitting. Fucking good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thankfully we can put we can put this debate to rest. Brown likes the Taco Bell tacos. Everybody, celebrate! Yay! <laughs> it's a wonderful and joyous day. Wonderful occasion. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. I had called my best friend for, uh, like, right when I got my food. But she knows mm-hmm. my history of Taco Bell, because I've had it every time with her. So, um, I called her. I was like, hey, guess what I got? And she was like, what? 
I'm like, Taco Bell. She was like, what? Who are you? <laughs> I'm like, uh, you know, I'm just trying this for the podcast. Uh, apparently the potatoes are good and shit. And she was like, huh, I pray for your asshole. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is pretty decent. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Now, if something does go awry where you do end up having to go to the bathroom uh, later for I'll keep you any reason, yeah, keep me posted. Let me know how it goes. Mm-hmm. And if you have a perfectly fine day without any weird bowel movements. Yeah, me too. Like, um, I already woke up and my know. stomach was feeling kind of, eh. I don't know why, because I didn't eat much yesterday. Um, what did you eat? What did I eat? What did I, oh, my grandma made me a burger. Ah, uh, that might be the culprit. Maybe. So you're getting your wisdom teeth out. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Getting all four taken out. I got mine taken out in high school. Damn. I guess my I guess my mouth was just um, developed ready to fork them up. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't uh, want these anymore. Take them. Yeah. You said that you had um, you started developing some pain. Yeah, in your mouth right especially around the time when you yeah, especially on my left side, um, it was like my bottom left that started just hurting so bad. Like I couldn't even like chew without it hurting so bad. So I went to the dentist, and they were like, "Oh yeah, that's impacted." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh okay." <laughs> oh Jesus! So they're gonna take that one out, and then she was saying when I went back to the dentist that they're gonna need to take the top one out, um, because it's gonna like fuck with my mouth since it's like not balanced Mm -hmm. um but i just told the surgeon uh can you just take all four out and he was like oh yeah we can so they're just gonna do that really Mm -hmm. are they gonna charge you extra for per tooth no actually it's a discount like the anesthesia is free since i have all four taken out oh yeah because my insurance see it's nice to have insurance it is (laughs) when i turn 26 i'm gonna panic (laughs) Yeah, when I went through all of my tests and shit, um, I remember one test that I that I had. I forget which one it was for. I had to go through a bunch of tests over the last couple months and mm-hmm. shit. You know this. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my tests, if I didn't have insurance, I would have had to pay like five hundred dollars. Dude, the tests are ridiculous. Pocket. That's why they want to like do them so much because. You fucking charge you up the ass. Luckily, all I had to pay, like, like, luckily, all I had to pay was, like, $35. Yeah. But I'm like, holy shit, if I didn't have yeah. insurance. It would, <laughs> it'd be a time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd much rather be like, all right, let me have this liver problem. Let me die. <laughs> let me figure this out on my own. <laughs> if if I die, I die. It, you know, it, it's my time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good episode. <laughs> yeah, good episode. Of the fuck, last one flowed so well when we were recording. What happened this week? Uh, I'm gonna continue to eat this. Um, but in the meantime, everybody, here's Gus Johnson covering Conway Twitty. <laughs> Every time I hear Conway Twitty, I think of Family Guy. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway, Conway Twitty. Twitty. <laughs> so. You had your wisdom teeth removed in high school, yes. Mm hmm. How. Mm-hmm. How did. And you had all four? Yep. How did that feel? Like, what. How was the recovery? Because that's what okay. I'm most nervous about. So, my recovery was kind of. Um, okay. Um, let me finish eating this real quick. Take your time. Uh, Everyone that listens to this is going to hear me chew, and I'm kind of self-conscious yum, about yum. it. <laughs> As someone who's been out to eat with you, you shouldn't be self-conscious. <laughs> well, I mean, granted, when we were <clears throat> eating, there was so much noise going on around us. But I was no sitting really next to you. <laughs> this is true. I mean, my mom raised me to eat with my mouth closed yeah, at all too. times. Me like, too. I can breathe through my nose. I'm fine. Yeah. Um... I don't know. It's not hard to chew with your mouth closed. No. Like, I'm not as anal about it as, like, my younger sister is, where if someone's chewing and she can hear them, she just has to leave the room. Um, But, you know, even if you chew with your mouth closed, you can still hear it, kind of, but... Not as prominent. Yeah. Um, anyway. 
What were we talking about? <laughs> so you had all four of your wisdom teeth taken out in high school. How was the recovery? Yes. So the recovery for me was awful. Oh, okay, love that. The bottom right, that tooth was so I believe I believe impacted is the right mm -hmm. uh, word. It was like growing into like my jaw. Yeah. Ooh. So they had to dislocate my jaw from the right side what? to get it out. So I not only had to recover from having four like having four spots of stitches in my mouth and recovering from the pain of the cuts, I also had to recover from a dislocated jaw. That's horrible. <laughs> I remember I was told that I woke up during the surgery. Mm -hmm. Like very briefly. It was kind of uh, like, I don't remember it at all, but they just remember seeing me, hearing me go like, ah, ah, and then they like gave me more. Um, <laughs> and they said, go, go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, they were, go back, go sleepy, sleepy. Um, I don't remember that, but I do remember waking up and leaving um, in a wheelchair because obviously I couldn't walk on my own. Yeah. Because I was too fucked up. And... I was so fucked up that my uh, sister who came with me recorded me as I was leaving because apparently I thought that I was getting dragged against my own will out into like somewhere because all I remember personally was me looking up at the ceiling and it had like I was like going by I was just seeing the lights and then I had blacked out. Oh. The next thing I remember was we were in the car on our way to Wendy's to get, like, a Frosty. But, <laughs> That's awesome. In the waiting room, we left the waiting room to go out in the parking lot, and apparently I had called out to a couple people in the waiting room and was just like, help, they're taking me away. <laughs> Someone help me. <laughs> they're tracking me away. I wish I still had that video, but that is on, like, my old iPhone 5 that has been long dead. That is so funny, man. The recovery that night, I had mashed potatoes. I had a Frosty. Um, I remember getting up to spit out my gauze, and, like, every time just, like, a hunk of blood came out with it. And I was oh. like, oh, nice. Yum. So, yeah, you will most likely be tasting a lot of your own blood. Love that for, for me. Um, and then like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you because like, no, I mean, I want, my like, recovery is probably going to be a lot different than yours mm -hmm. depending, but yeah, I um, don't know how like badly impacted my bottom left one is. So did they take, they took, they must've taken x-rays of it. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Did you look at them? Uh, briefly, but I don't know how to look at fucking x-rays. I'm like, Oh yeah. <laughs> bones. <laughs> Yeah, so that night I had taken one of the pain medications that I got. I think it was um I think there were hydros and I had a really bad reaction. Damn, they just gave me ibuprofen. <laughs> I'm like, what? damn, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're just giving me ibuprofen. They're not giving you any pain meds. No. I guess that's good because you know opiates are very addictive. I know, but, but goddamn, I gotta be in pain for this shit. <laughs> I mean, I took I had to take ibuprofen and you're about to find out why. Oh, so, yeah, for swelling, yeah. Yeah, I took the hydros for the pain, and I didn't have a lot of food in my stomach because I couldn't eat, so my body was just rejected the medication, and I ended up vomiting <gasps> for a good 20 minutes in the bathroom. Oh, my God, and you're in pain, so I can't imagine how that felt. Yep. And it was, uh, like, I was still a little numb, but I was starting to get a little tender around my jaw. Yeah. Uh, and the pain medic medication wasn't working and made me throw up, mm. which eventually led to, I don't know if it was the vomit that, like, got into, like, the holes in my mouth. Oh, no. Where my <laughs> teeth had been, but I ended up getting an infection in my mouth, <sighs> and, which led me to get, like, a, like a 102-degree fever. Oh. Um, and then later, th this was a little bit later on. This was like a couple days down the road. But that same night, around maybe one o'clock, I woke up in just agony. Like oh. the pain, 
like the numbness had worn off and I was just left with what was there. Uh. Right. And that was a dislocated jaw vomit stuck in the holes of my mouth (laughs) just in absolute pain i come down and i'm not much of a crier i like to think that i have a very high pain tolerance yeah but i came down and i was just sobbing and my (sighs) mom came down and she was like what's wrong and i was like it hurts so bad and she's they like butchered you bro they Jesus did. Christ. They really did. So they had to. My mom got like a cold, uh, not a cold compress, like a hot, like a heat pad. Had me press it against my mouth. Wasn't really helping at all. Mm. Um. So and I tried to walk back up the stairs and I couldn't because it hurt every time I moved. So I just like laid down on the couch and cried myself to sleep. Aww. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's then, fucked. Thankfully, it was done on like a Thursday, so I had Friday off, and then it was I was still in high school, so it was obviously Saturday, Sunday off. Mm-hmm. But then I had to go back to school on Tuesday, and I couldn't stay in class. I think I went through three periods and then went to the nurse and was just like, I need to go home. This hurts yeah. so bad. And at that point, all I could take was ibuprofen for the pain, and that wasn't really helping at yeah. all. Uh, so, you know, I recovered well. My, I've gone through a lot of hell to get my teeth the way that they are. I think that I, 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 I don't think I have a lot of body confidence, but the one feature of mine that I will confidently say I think is really good are my teeth. That's awesome. I hate Uh, my teeth. (laughs) It's one of one of my biggest insecurities. I don't think I've ever looked at your teeth. God, I hate them. I'm glad. Just don't, do not perceive me. Just don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Don't touch me. <laughs> I am nothing. <laughs> uh, did you never have braces? No. I my older brother had braces, and that that oh, okay. did not look fun. But um, it's not. I fun. never went to an orthodontist like for them to like. Hey, you should probably have braces or whatever. Even though I was told uh, to go to one, I just never went. <laughs> <laughs> you were told by who? The dentist. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were like by your parents. Oh, yeah. My parents were like, hey, go to the orthodontist. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, like my mom made sure that she was always like, I always thought I had the worst teeth, but my mom is, all, but my mom recently was just like, no, you always had the best teeth out of all the kids in the family growing up. And I was just like, oh, well, I didn't know that. I always Damn. heard stories about how I had fallen off of like a ladder and busted my lip and like what? my tooth went through my lip and I had to go get like teeth tooth surgery and shit. I was always under the impression that I had the worst teeth because I'll go back and look at some of my old photos and like my teeth are all crooked and um. But she was like, yeah, but you never had, like, an overbite like all the other kids. You never had constant cavities like all the other kids. Your teeth were just a little fucked up. And we fixed it with braces. So it's fine. But braces, I would not wish upon my worst enemy because they suck because you have to get them tightened every so often. And when they get tightened, you cannot eat food for, like, three fucking days. You can't eat, like, solid food for three days. And it's fucking awful. I definitely think my... uh biggest fear is definitely the recovery after like what's it called after the surgery because mm-hmm. i'm i'm not i'm not ready you'll be fine you'll be fine i don't know do you have man. any do you have any like edibles or anything like uh like a vape or anything that you can use to also so help i know you, you probably can't, don't want to smoke yeah you can't like smoke but can uh, you vape i don't know that because i feel like it's the same like mouth movement if you're going to smoke with hitting yeah, a vape. True. What if what if you get superpowers from it? Like <laughs> you, like the THC just like creeps into your stitches and then you just become uh you be you become weed gal. We, I am weed gal. That'd be funny. What would your superpower what would your superpower be? Like it's like you have um but it's kind of like an umbrella academy with one of the one of the characters um, has the ability to see the dead. Um, I just have but... the ability to see weed from miles away. <laughs> you can get everybody that you come in contact with high, but you have to carry that ginormous load of just like 
all of that THC just coursing through your veins. It's like an overload, so you're just constantly really high. <laughs> so it's like sometimes you don't want to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because Klaus in uh, Umbrella Academy, like I said, he has the ability to see the dead, but sometimes like the fact that he can see the dead haunts him because it's like you go around and all you see are dead people. That's That would be very traumatic. Yeah, and it's like he's he's um, his character. Uh, spoiler alert is a drug addict. Um, oh, that's that guy, the edgy one. Yeah. 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 So like, and I watched that episode yesterday with Winter, and I was like, oh, so that's why he does drugs? Because there's a scene where he's like <gasps> laying under the water in a bathtub, and then all of a sudden, like all of like the dead people that he's seen like start screaming at him, and then he like. Um, like pulls himself out of the water and then he just like starts smoking and I'm just like oh yeah I would probably I, I be a drug would addict t- then yeah. too yeah no a hundred percent so yeah that's your burden is that you carry around so much highness <laughs> <laughs> I can't think I'm of like the right high. way to describe it you're just forever <laughs> high like you know when you're way too high yeah you're just constantly in like that state that was me the other but night when we can... were watching wrestling Oh, yeah, because you were like, you took three edibles. Uh, yeah. I took How did three the edibles. fiend scene hit? Did the fiend scene hit any differently when you were that fucking high? It w- it looked really cool. I was like, damn, he looks fucking yeah. sick. I thought he looked really dope. Me too. We haven't talked wrestling on this podcast, I think, ever. No. Well, but... I think briefly. Briefly. But I'm about to nerd out about The Fiend really quickly. For those of you that don't know, we watch wrestling in the Discord. Um, We talk about it every so often as well. I've been a wrestling fan since I can remember. There's a siren going by. I can't hear it. Wee, wee, wee. Wee, girl, where are you at? We need you down here. (laughs) There's been a disturbance. People need to get high quick. (laughs) There's been a disturbance. Uh, so Bray Wyatt, uh, is a wrestler for WWE. He's kind of been through a lot. Like he's gone through several character changes from like Husky Harris to, um, just like other like prototype characters. Um, and then he came up with the character Bray Wyatt. Which was originally this cult leader uh, kind of gimmick, and he but he also kind of had some kind of supernatural powers as well, and he kind of just was the best person on the mic. Like he delivered these amazing promos that you could tell weren't a script that he was handed. Like this guy is talking from the heart, from his mind, and <coughs> became one of the most uh, popular characters but then when he went to the main roster like he kind of floundered a bit was kind of uh handed some bad storylines and he did the best that he could with them but eventually he ended up getting written off tv um he was gone for about i think it's i think he was gone for like a year it seemed but he came back um he was in better shape he had a new character um he was still bray wyatt but um he was kind of this Mr. Rogers esque kind of character when he came back. He had this children's show, which eventually turned more <clears throat> dark. Oh and yeah. Then it came to be revealed that he was uh that he has the split personality between the fun, like cuddly, happy Bray Wyatt, this new version of himself. But it's like all of his darkness had been manifested into this demon looking thing it's kind of I, I always say it looks like a demonic clown uh yeah. called the fiend yeah 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 and three months ago in like december or january um i forget when the pay-per-view was another wrestler by the name of randy orton set the fiend on fire fiend was off tv for the last three months he came back on sunday night and when his when his hand like reached through the ring mat and you saw that like all of his like flesh had been like melted onto him. I was just like, Oh my God, that's so fucking cool. And then he comes out and then he's like, he's got this new getup and his like mask is like melted onto his face. And he has like, um, like a white contact lens 
in one of his eyes and then the fiend eye in the other. I was like, oh my god, that's so fucking cool! Dude, it looked so awesome. And Tom Savini, um, who has done... Let me see what what mask he's done masks he's done he's done a lot of stuff with um any horror fans out there that like the behind the scenes stuff might know who tom savini is he's done makeup for dawn of the dead uh creep show friday the 13th day of the dead check texas chainsaw massacre i probably said night of the living <laughs> dead already yeah he, he he's he's done a lot of makeup and stuff for um uh horror shows and horror movies, and he designed the mask for Bray Wyatt. I don't know if he did the one, uh, like, now. I didn't know that. That's actually really cool. uh, Yeah. Basically, we stand the fiend. (laughs) Yeah, we stand the fiend. Like, a lot of of people online shit on it, but it's... And I remember when he first started wrestling, a lot of people would get pissed off when he lost and stuff. It's like, well, I mean... Yeah, the Undertaker lost plenty of times, and people fucking love him. It's like I don't want to compare the two, but it's like if I am comparing the two, it's because they both are the types of characters where it's like, okay, this is sports entertainment. This is the entertainment side of yeah the whole entire like WWE thing. This is I the love entertainment that because part. they add like a like a a fantasy thing right, to it. Exactly, and it's like dark, and it, I, I love it. Hmm. Uh, I'm very excited to see where it goes. I don't think he's going to be the burned Bray Wyatt for forever. Like, I mean, like he was only the fiend for like, what, like a good year and a half. And then he switched it up again. Yeah. Bray Wyatt still has a lot of gas left in the tank. Let me see how old he is. He's pretty young. No, he is pretty young. Yeah. He's only 33. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got plenty of years left in the tank. I would love to see what else he does with the, with the Bray Wyatt character. Me too. I've loved everything that he's done so far with it. So we're not doing trivia this week because um, why aren't we doing trivia this week? Uh, t- truthfully, I don't feel like thinking today. <laughs> <laughs> you got, it yeah, requires this is a true. lot. <laughs> this is true. You've got uh, you got your wisdom teeth surgery tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm like not don't... mentally prepared. <laughs> yeah. I still haven't taken this dap. God damn it. <laughs> Dude, I've just been hitting in. my cart. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually... out of my car already. So, <gasps> no way. Yeah. So winter last weekend. Was came... it a full gram or half a gram? It was a full gram. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, I mean, like I put it in like my little box thing and I put it on high power. So like I'm just cranking away at that. Oh, thing. true. Just fucking chief on that shit. <laughs> so I think it was like two weeks ago. We were just chilling in discord and then winter texted me. She's like, are you home? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I got something for you. Aww. And I was like, oh, cool. And then so she comes by and we're at the point in our relationship now where she knows the lock to my front door. It's like a combo lock. So like I completely forgot she knows the code for it. I go out. I just like I'm ready to just open like so like I have a door inside that opens it up and then I have to go open the front door. I open the door and her and Morg are just standing right there in front of my door, scared the <laughs> fucking shit out of me. And I, she's just like, uh, she like hugs me and she's like, reach into one of my back pockets and pick one. And then I like reach in and pull out a Graham cart. It was like, um, I think I got the, hang on, I got the cart right here actually. Um, yeah, uh, it's uh, by a company called First Class Canna. Oh. Um, it's uh, OG Kush. Nice. Uh, yeah, I got a cart the other day. Derived oil. No cuts or additives. Love that. Love that. Nice. Straight out from Cali. That's awesome. What were you saying? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Um, I got a cart the other day. I went to the dispensary, and uh, there was this one because a lot of them were like ratios, and I was like, I don't want CBD. I ain't no little yeah. bitch. <laughs> Whoa, easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> um. CBD is really good for anxiety and shit. Yeah. Um, what's it called? So there was this one called Gainesville Green. So I I snatched that. And <laughs> it was only like a half gram. But it's still going strong. You know? I still yeah. have like a little bit more than half. And I got this like three, four days ago. So nice. it, it's going. But uh, I, yeah. I'm going to do like 
Postmates after we get off of this. Um, so I can, because I have an order ready at the dispensary. So, you know? Oh, nice. Yeah. Is that where you're going? What do you mean? Do you pick up dispensary orders? Oh, no, no, no. Like an order Postmates? for me. Oh. My bad. Oh. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> yeah like I, I i placed an order yesterday um but i ended up not being able to go by so uh i'm gonna pick it up today and i got a chocolate bar for when i'm struggling hell yeah i i wonder i hope you'll be able to eat that yeah me too i'll just eat it very slowly <laughs> yeah eat it slow um maybe eat the whole thing <laughs> yeah, <dinner. laughs> if, like, if you're in too much pain i'll just be like fuck it i'm eating this whole fucking thing okay. i don't care <laughs> How do we continue this? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, so the other day I I had I had this thought. I was like, I haven't seen Brendan Fraser in anything in what quite some time. Uh, I don't remember what made it come up, but I was like, man, I loved Brendan Fraser, and I feel like he hasn't done much. So, like, uh, if you don't know. Um, his wife like divorced him a while ago and like took all of his money Oh, and like poor Brendan Fraser did not deserve that. So I think it's fucked that there's like if, that if you get a divorce, there's a chance that you were, um, that this person that you've been with that you like loved for like the longest time just destroys your life by taking yeah. everything that you own. That's petty. I think that's really fucked up and petty. Yeah. Yeah. But prenups, I baby. Guess, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess he's been in other stuff since then. And uh, I tweeted out yesterday. I said, when all this shit is over, I want Brendan Fraser to make the biggest comeback of all time. Um, and uh, this podcast called the Brendan Fraser podcast said you should check out Trust and Doom Patrol. Technically a comeback. So I think I'm going. That'll be the next movie that I watch. Okay. Uh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna totally do that. And I also checked them checked their podcast out. Um. It's really honestly really cool podcast. Anyone that uh is a fan of Brendan Fraser should check out um the Brendan Fraser podcast. And they so are on uh. They're on Apple Podcasts. Um, it's uh, two hosts, um, <coughs> I believe, Daniel and Carla. Uh, don't know the spelling for Carla, but uh, they, uh, they just talk about Brendan Fraser stuff. Um, so, yeah, check That's their podcast crazy. out. It's the first time I've shouted out a podcast, another podcast on this podcast. What? Podcastception. Yeah. We love that. Podcasts, please be our friends. <laughs> yeah. Podcasters, uh, hi. Hi. We are also fellow podcasters. <laughs> Not very good ones, but we podcast. We just kind of wing it every day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see that there's a Powerpuff Girls live action TV what? show? I think it's a TV show or it's going to be a movie. What? Yeah. Why? I saw it. and. Uh, See, that was the main reaction of everybody. They're just like, they're going to ruin it. Like, fuck, fuck, fuck this shit. Like, keep things the way that they used to be. It's like, people just don't want to give things a chance nowadays, and it kind of I pisses mean, me off. yes, but, like, there's also a lot of live action that are just shit. Yes, but what are the chances that this one will be just complete dog shit? Well. Well, we got a 50-50 chance. This is exactly what it is. Yeah. We got a 50-50 chance. Um... But wait, yeah, Powerpuff Girls live action. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I see the problem here. <laughs> oh. Um, I just want to confirm this really quick. I just want to make sure that it is something that the CW is working on. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's all know. we need to know. <laughs> New Powerpuff Girls live action <laughs> series in development at the CW. Well, uh, the Powerpuff Girls could fl could soon fly again. Variety has learned that a live action version of the cartoon classic of the classic Cartoon Network series is in development at the CW. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. 
Because <laughs> CW has ha, has a track ha. record. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Uh, I guess. Oh, so I guess they found their actresses. Okay. Chloe Bennett, Dove Cameron, and Yana Peralt. Oh, I know Dove Cameron and Chloe Bennett sounds very familiar. I need to look this up. Chloe. That I'm looking at. I have absolutely no idea who this bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> also, to answer your question that you sent me earlier about the talk about when I was just like, oh my god, they're taking forever. Like these hoes, are they busy? They were not busy, as a matter of fact. It was just you? It was just me. There was a car in front of me, and then by the time I left, there was no other cars. There was no cars. Like nobody had pulled up behind me. It was just the guy in front of me. I sat there for a good probably 10 minutes waiting uh-huh. at the window. And I know that, that at fast food restaurants, there is a time limit that you're supposed yes. to hit per order. Yeah. Uh, like I've, I've never worked in fast food. I've worked in the food industry, though. So people that are just like, oh, you need to give fast food workers more credit. Listen, I know how stressful those jobs can be. I know 100% mm-hmm. the amount of stress that comes with getting those orders out on time. I am more than patient. But when there's no one behind me, yeah. there's, there's yeah. no one behind me, yeah. you better be making like 600 orders for like tiny mice that are living in your Taco Bell. <laughs> I'd see no other logical explanation for why two tiny things with just chicken cheese and a sauce that yeah. need to be rolled up take fucking 10 minutes yeah no you don't that, need to that's grill stupid. it or anything you just put the ingredients in you roll it up granted it was all right it was fine it was, it taco was all bell. right it was all right i wanted potatoes though so taco bell you drop the fucking ball today motherfucker i am never eating from you again <laughs> Until the next time I do. You know, I can't say when the next time I'll have Taco Bell is, but the potatoes really either. weren't that bad. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you like the potatoes. Yeah. This podcast can end very peacefully today. It can. Potatoes. Yes. Potatoes. Give them some love. Potatoes. 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 Uh, what? That's something that doesn't make sense to me. So potato... What? F- fucking like foreign people say potato like potato if anything but tomato yes. it's tomato tomato i've never heard anyone call it a tomato tomato i always hear tomato oh i've heard tomato oh, no, actually yeah no like uh like uh british people will say yeah tomato that's, what I'm, I, that's I, what I'm saying i've seen a lot of gordon ramsay yeah tomato but why do they say potato like normal not potato. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know? Very good question. <laughs> Think of that. I don't know. Can you guys answer for us? <laughs> Can you guys find this out? Food for thought. I've done enough Googling today. <laughs> Why do British people say things weird? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> That's racist. Racist. Can I do a hot take really quick? <laughs> sure. <laughs> You know how everyone was very gung ho, like literally a week or week ago, about stopping Asian violence. Yep. Or violence against Asian Americans. Um, where is it now? Um, you it's look at not your timeline, all over the. It's not trending. That's why people aren't talking about it anymore. Yeah. Same thing with Black mm-hmm. Lives Matter. I have encountered racism in the last twenty-five years that I've been alive. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, nonviolent. Uh, yeah. racism, but racism all the same. Uh, I don't like how these things will start trending and everybody will be hopping on it. Um, and I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying everybody, but I saw a few people doing things that were obviously just for clout. Yeah. And I see you. <laughs> Spotted. 
fuck you. You should be <laughs> disappointed with yourself. If you are listening to this right now and you feel any kind of guilt. It's for you. <laughs> it's for you. If you feel any inkling of guilt. Yep. Fuck you. And like just to clear it up. I was born in Korea. I am Korean 100% to my knowledge. I I understand that I have not been a victim of uh like violent racism. Mm -hmm. But you still think, you still experienced that discrimination solely right. for the fact of your race. And I'm just like why do people have to die for something to get attention? It's disgusting. That's only going to fade away within a matter of weeks and no one's going to talk about it again until the next person dies or the yep. next group of people die. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't understand. Like, it's great that people are raising money for charities and stuff. Yeah. But where is that going to get us? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, that's my whole take on the, uh, like Asian violence thing. I feel like it would have been weird for me to, and maybe not weird for me to not talk about, but I haven't talked about it on the podcast. I haven't like really discussed it with anybody really. Cause you know, I mean, God forbid somebody would ask me like, why haven't you spoken out about this? It's like, you're Asian. Why haven't you spoken out about this? It's like, well, I just told you why. Yeah. I would do something for it. Maybe. But then we're just gonna go back to, to normal and people are gonna go back go people are gonna go back to being racist fucks. It's it's honestly fucking disgusting. Like I, I truly don't understand why there's so much hate and so much violence because of someone's race. It doesn't matter if you're black, Asian, anything. Like it, it's just it's fucked up. It should not be a thing. It should be common sense to not hate somebody because of it's where they were born. It's not hard to be a good person. It's really not. It really isn't. Like, we mess, like, yeah, sure, we mess up. People mess up. Mm -hmm. But to learn from your mistakes, to learn from our mistakes as just as a collective uh, people in general, all of us that are on this fucking floating sphere in the sky. Like, bro, nothing matters. Like, we are on a fucking circle, just floating. We are on a rock, just floating through nothing. And if we're lucky, we get to stay on this rock for a hundred years and then we die. Like, are you kidding? What? Nothing matters. <laughs> like, Do you want why? to live your life hating something that you, that really shouldn't matter to you? I don't get or that. Do and that's the same with like the sexual orientation, are. your race, anything that you, it, 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 that's just a part of you. How can you hate someone for that? Everybody wants the three basic things, food, love, and sex. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. So. Can I add a fourth? Can I add sleep? <laughs> yes, and sleep. So if you cool. add all those four things together. Actually, no, I guess we could take sex out because I guess that doesn't really need to apply yeah sex but, really isn't that, that important um <laughs> sex isn't really that great um, <laughs> it's, just, it's all right <laughs> like, food love and sleep <laughs> yeah sex is great and all but you ever be a good you ever just try to be a decent person that shit hits different <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway yeah. that's that's my uh that's my take on that whole situation yuck yuck so brianna have you been listening to anything this week at all have i been listening to anything yes actually i have um hold on let me pull up spotify <sighs> oh god <laughs> sorry i'm so gassy uh okay so i i feel like i'm gonna butcher her name um what's it called i don't know if you've heard kali uchis uchis uh I have not. Yeah. Well, she's she's like a she's like an R and B kind of singer. Um, she put out a an album that's it she put out last year. It's like predominantly Spanish, but it's also like Spanglish. So like she sings in English and in Spanish in like the songs and shit. But there are a few that are just solely Spanish. But I've been fucking obsessed 
with this fucking album. Like it, it, it's, I don't know why it's so good to me. Um, uh, if you translate the title of the album, it's, uh, not afraid of love and other demons. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah. So I've been listening to Quiero Sentirme Bien. That's one of them. Telepatia. Anthony Padilla? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, another one called De Nadie and Aquí Yo Mando. So those fucking songs have just been like, oh, and I'll add them to the playlist. Y'all let me know how you like it. I'm pretty sure all of those uh, songs are Spanglish. So like it's not all Spanish. But it's good. It's a vibe. It's a good nice. vibe. And one of the songs have been like uh trending a lot on TikTok. There's a couple new songs that have been circulating on TikTok that I find really cringy. Yes. Um, and I don't like it. I think they sound very whiny. I don't think if I don't know if it's the same one that you're talking about, but I just fucking hate it. Um I'm not even going to replicate it because I hate it that much. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you guys know of what I am talking about, I what song? Like I don't know the name of it. I am not going to try and recreate it, it because it. it makes me cringe. Sing no, it. Sing, it. sing it, no, sing it, please, no, please, no. <laughs> Can you at least like say the words? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's that one word, like, it sounds like a little kid saying, oh, no. Oh, 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 uh, no. I, yeah, I uh, fucking nah. hate it. Stop it. Stop yeah, yeah. it. I'm taking my headphones off. I fucking hate no, it. No, yeah, that that's pretty annoying. It's like, I don't know why, but, like, I was, um, Morg was, like, Show, listening to TikToks the other day and she showed it to me and I was like, I fucking hate that song. And she's like, I love it. I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> it's so cringy and annoying. TikTok in, in general is just cringy and annoying. I mean, I, I love TikTok. There's some fucking bangers on there. Like, I'm just jealous because I can't get my TikTok popping. <laughs> so. It's okay. I never make TikToks. I don't know how to I don't know how to make content on there. Like, it seems to... relatively <laughs> easy. Not like easy, easy, but it seems like pretty decent with like support for creators because I feel like it you have the ability to be seen a lot mm -hmm. and like more than any other like social media platform. <sighs> Someone teach me how to TikTok. <laughs> That's honestly, I was thinking of like getting clips of like our podcast and shit and like posting it on there. That might be a great idea. Yeah, because I I've especially on like my for you page, I see a lot of like clips from podcasts and shit, and just like funny moments that people post. Are they like just audio, or are they are they also like video? It's video. We got to get back to doing video yeah. podcasts. Yeah, we got to get back to that. And I need to fucking upload like the last eight episodes of the podcast <laughs> to our fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> Like, the more episodes we do, the more I have to, like, render, which is, like, like it takes, like, three hours to render an episode. Oh, so it's, like, fuck. Fuck. Maybe we should fuck. just stop posting episodes for a bit so I can catch up. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just stop. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I can work on my time management a little bit better. You know. <laughs> Life is oh, a God. highway. So, have you been listening to anything, Khalid? Um, kinda, kinda. Um, there. I don't know if I've mentioned this band before, but I've been listening to them a lot lately. There's a band called Middle Kids. Okay, um, that sounds familiar. I've covered their song "Edge of Town" on uh, the drum streams before. Okay. Um, the Edge of Town is a great song. There's also um, a song off of their album Lost Friends called Mistake, which is really good. It's very like um, chill, like kind of like a band that you would see on um, like NPR, like Tiny Desk. 
Uh, I'm sure they've I'm pretty sure they've been on Tiny Desk. Um and also the uh like Audio Tree, like those kinds of like indie bands that like come on and you're like, Why the fuck have I heard of this band before? They're fucking amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um so I'll add those to the playlist and then could you also send me your songs in yeah. our Discord DM so I can remember to put it on there? I'm gonna do that right now. All right, sweet, sounds good. Uh that's what I'm listening to that. Um, recently, uh, PewDiePie's playlist got leaked, and what? like a lot of people were just like talking about like the music he listens to. And so I started listening to this uh, group um, called Fishmans. They're a Japanese band um, from Tokyo, and uh, they kind of have like a psychedelic sound. Um, and uh, I really like I really like what I've been listening to them. I really like what I've been listening from them. So far, uh, and uh, there's a song by them called Baby Blue, which is, that is a song that I will recommend for this week as well. Music, man. That shit makes the world go round. It does. We're two episodes away from episode 20. That's crazy. 20 fucking episodes, man. I Did can't you think believe... we would have made it to 20? No, I honestly thought we would make it to 15 and then like not do it for a bit and then just stop doing it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I feel you. I'm proud of us, though. We've been I am very proud. Even like throughout all like the hiccups that have happened and like little obstacles and like sometimes life happens and shit like we've been pretty consistent with this. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, trying to get at least one episode out a week. I think yeah. we only missed one week. Yeah. Maybe and that was one or two of, like just shit. Yeah. Shit happens. Yeah. And I hope everyone that listens to the show enjoys it. It's a nice yeah, way dude. to uh, just chat with a good friend and mm-hmm. just talk about yeah. life. Talk, talk about, about things. So other, I mean, isn't that what a podcast is all about? Damn right, Cleet. So, like I said, no trivia this week. It will return next week. And we're going to also hopefully get some new segments soon. And we yeah. do and have guess. a we do have a guest scheduled actually for the 420 episode i believe we do (laughs) oh did we not talk about this no (laughs) well we'll talk about this as soon as we end this episode so uh it's snoop dog thank you guys for listening to this episode we appreciate you very much you guys can follow the twitter account of the daydream arcade at daydream arcade and we also have an instagram that we don't really post on no <laughs> at the DJ, the daydream arcade and you can follow myself at young retro live on twitter young retro 64 on twitch and on instagram at young retro 64 as well sick and if you want to slide by me you can follow me at certicate on all platforms really twitter instagram twitch uh all that fun stuff Catch you. Catch you later. Yes. Wear your masks. Don't wash your touch hands. people. Wash your hands. Uh, Don't because, sneeze. Cover your yeah. nose with the fucking mask. As a matter of fact, cut your nose off. You don't need that shit. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. Yep. Want to get back to normal? Come on. And run. Please. Hurry up. Follow in New Zealand's footsteps. <laughs> yes, I was literally about to close with that. I was just like, New Zealand literally just had like a live, like a live concert with like a people there. Festival? Are you kidding me? Jesus I wish. Christ! We need to get back to that. So, if if you're out there and you're not wearing a mask, I went to the park. By the way, I'm gonna close with this. I went to the park with Winter on Sunday because it was a really nice day. It was the first time that it's been like 70 something degrees out in a very long time. We wanted to go to this park that's by her place. It's on this little island. And we got there. Park was so crowded. <sighs> so fucking crowded. Never seen it that crowded. And almost everyone was in huddles of groups of people and nobody was wearing masks. We were like one of the only people wearing masks and people looked at us like we were crazy. And I'm like, you're the ones that are crazy. (laughs) Dude. Yeah. Fucking. So my best friend is visiting Texas right now because she's went to go see her dad and everybody knows that Texas is stupid (laughs) Um, because they took away the mandatory mask rule thing. Um, and I know it's not all Texans. Like, I know there's 
some of you that have brain cells. I get you. I'm, mm-hmm. I support you. I see. I see all my I Texas friends on Twitter. I see. Yeah. I see you guys tweeting about the about. Yeah, what the fuck I feel so bad masks? for them. Like that's mm-hmm. that's fucked up. But yeah, so Don't she clump but, us into your Texas culture. <laughs> yes, exactly. So she went to Walmart with her dad, and when she went, she said that there were like groups of people that were coming in, not a mask in sight. Gross. In Walmart. Gross. They're inside. God. And there are probably signs outside saying, wear a mask or else you can't enter. But you know, it's Walmart. Welcome to Walmart. We don't give a fuck. So fucking stupid. Anyway, just wear a mask. Just, just please. <laughs> it's, it's not hard. It, it, it is really not It's really hard. not that hard. So yeah, thank y'all for listening to this episode. Wear a mask or else I will shoot you. Yep. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye.